If you're a Dolly Parton fan, then you'd know she was born and raised in Tennessee and has refused to permanently live in any other state since. Dolly currently lives in Brentwood, Tennessee with her husband Carl Dean at an estate she bought back in the 90s. Since the country legend has been in the same home for quite some time, today we'll be looking at her main house as well as two properties she used to live at. While Dolly hasn't shown fans much of the interior, we've gotten some glimpses and there's a lot we can tell from the outside. There are over 10 structures here. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Dolly Parton is a singer, songwriter, businesswoman, actress, author, humanitarian, you name it, who's best known for her work in country music. After achieving success as a songwriter for others, she made her album debut back in 1967 and became successful as both a solo artist and doing duet albums with Porter Wagoner. Dolly's sales and chart peak came during the 1970s, continuing into the 1980s. Over the course of her career, Dolly came back with more commercial success in the new millennium and even built her own label, Dolly Records. Among her many, many, many awards and accolades, she's received 10 Grammys, including the Lifetime Achievement Award, and was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame, naturally. She's filled her life with a ton of different ventures, from composing over 3,000 songs, acting in hit films, and even opening a successful theme park in Tennessee, Dollywood. But the music legend also loves to give back and has been highly involved in charity work since the 80s, especially in the area of literacy. She has done a ton to help with her program, Dolly Parton's Imagination Library, and that's only the tip of the iceberg. I read her book, Dolly, My Life and Other Unfinished Business, and after hearing her own story, I found a new respect for her. I highly recommend it. She's an icon in so many ways, and I feel like every icon deserves a house tour. At the time of this recording, Dolly's estimated net worth is at $500 million, and with a fortune like that, you might be surprised that she's chosen to live at the same farm for many years now. Hey guys, it's Karen. Today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing a lot of copycat channels popping up, but we're the original house tour connoisseurs, and 95% of you watching are subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today we'll be taking a look at the country music legend and woman who does it all, Dolly Parton. But we'll check out her longtime estate in Tennessee, a couple of her other properties, and maybe even a glimpse at Dollywood. We've done house tours and celebs like Sarah Jessica Parker and many more, and we'll link to some at the end. End. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. While Dolly has never chosen Hollywood as a home over Tennessee, being a celebrity, you know she had to own a home there at least at one point. In 2014, it was reported that Dolly listed her West Hollywood crash pad for just over $1.3 million, which was remarkably small to say the least. The compact and very fenced-in bungalow was located in the Norma Triangle neighborhood and said to be the childhood home of Natalie Wood. Dolly picked up the spot in 2007 for $1.2 million and lived here whenever she was in Los Angeles. Listing details claim the West Hollywood home was originally built in 1923, spanning a quaint 1,091 square feet of space with two beds and two baths, while other marketing materials say there's actually three bedrooms. Either way, the place ain't big. It doesn't stop the home from being being described as a mini compound and an eclectic and whimsical oasis though. There were warm hardwood floors throughout the charming house, motorized skylights, hand-painted details, and a security system with cameras. A walk-through cozy den offers a fireplace and leads you through French doors and the master bedroom, where you'll find two spacious closets with built-ins, a pop-up TV, and more French doors to the outdoor patio. The secondary bedroom also had a walk-in closet full ensuite and doors to its own private landscape deck. A detached one-car garage here was transformed into a private guest cottage, so I guess that's bedroom number three. Looking at this guest suite, it's definitely unlike anything I've seen before. Somehow they managed to cram a kitchenette, bathroom, and a recliner next to the bed. You'll see what I mean looking at the pic. There's also a country kitchen in the common area of the home, and outdoors the large cover deck has built-in seating, a fridge, barbecue, and prep area. The private back garden has a climate-controlled storage room, and it's decked out with lush landscaping outside. 
Since that's really all there is to look at in that small, very humble West Hollywood property, let's move on to a slightly bigger place Dolly also used to call home. Just last year, a home that Dolly and her husband Carl lived in from 1980 to 1996 came up for sale again at over $1 million. Located in the Glencliff neighborhood of Nashville, Tennessee, this was the house the couple lived in prior to laying down roots at their current estate. It's a one-of-a-kind, two-story craftsman-style home, and it's just southeast of downtown Nashville, sitting on a gated 2 4 acre property. Dolly invested 16 years of her life into this building, and though it's had new owners since, it's not hard to see the effect she had on the place. There are touches of Dolly throughout the home from the living room to the bedrooms, and the interior spans 4,795 square feet with a 1,500 square foot guest house elsewhere on the property. But this was added after Dolly and Carl moved out. The home was built in 1941 and has been upgraded since, boasting four beds and three baths inside. This stucco exterior hints at the Art Deco style of the early 1940s, as do the spacious interiors perfect for entertaining guests, which include an eating kitchen and living rooms like this one that looks perfect for singing some live music. Although the living room had a modern style, the kitchen looks just like you'd expect from a former part and property. The cream cupboards, checkerboard tiles, and ceiling fans all give that retro vibe that we know Dolly loves so much. The master bedroom at this home was super spacious with plush armchairs surrounding the bed and a ton of room compared to the home we previously looked at. The master bathroom is also a step up from that place. I mean, you actually get some privacy to use the toilet here. And there's a separate bath and shower stall. There's also a shed that's original to the property, which Dolly added on for her time living here to create a playroom for her nieces and nephews. Not to mention it has the wallpaper she picked out in the 80s. While Dolly's former house doesn't have a pool or recording studio, it does offer some wooded areas and a covered patio for all your outdoor party needs. As we just saw, Dolly has lived in a few homes throughout her career and it was in 1999 when she and Carl purchased their current estate in Brentwood, Tennessee, which happens to be the same area that Marilyn Monroe once lived. Brentwood is a suburb of Nashville, but since it's away from downtown, the land surrounding Dolly's home is sprawling. Although she hasn't given a direct look inside the property, the view from outside tells us a lot. The estate is guarded by a large iron gate and behind it a driveway leads to the large idyllic looking main house proudly displaying an American flag. Dolly and her husband paid only $400,000 for the home and it reportedly spans 3,324 square feet inside. Since moving in, it seems the country star expanded the estate too. As we can see from aerial views, there are about 10 structures. Each have a bright red roof and can be seen from the road, giving Dolly Dolly's property a country or farm feel. We can see that Dolly's backyard features a tennis court, a swimming pool, several gazebos, and acres of open space to roam. Also present is a quaint chapel where Dolly likes to go when she's overwhelmed or just wants to pray. In 2018, Dolly invited actress Reese Witherspoon into her home to film the first episode of her inspirational series, Shine On, and she also showed off her adorable chapel. Dolly also gave a glimpse into her modest kitchen where she whipped up some breakfast and dished out some words of wisdom. We can see Dolly's gorgeous classic house has a ton of balcony space, and when she told fans to keep the faith during the pandemic, she showed an area inside the home with yellow walls to complement the white windowsills. She also has a piano set up near family photos and decorations created one of her living rooms with dark couches and red pillows. Before I wrap this video up, let's take a quick look at one of Dolly's biggest property investments, Dollywood. She put a lot of her earnings over the years into business ventures in her native East Tennessee, notably in Pigeon Forge, where she co-owns and operates the theme park Dollywood, a dinner theater, Dolly Parton Stampede, the water park called Splash Country, and the Dream More Resort and Spa. Dollywood typically welcomes 3 million visitors in a season, and it's the biggest ticketed tourist attraction in the state. In addition to your standard amusement park rise, Dollywood features traditional crafts and music of the Smoky Mountain area. The park is organized into 11 themed areas, which include one designated to the history and culture of East Tennessee, and even Owens Farm and Adventures in Imagination, which explore Dolly Parton's life and imagination. The park also hosts concerts and musical events, including appearances by Dolly herself. All right, I think that brings our Dolly Parton house tour to a close. While Dolly has lived in the same house for many years now, it's partly because she doesn't like moving around. When she's touring, she even considers her tour bus home. And in the past, she said about it. It's great, it's got everything. There's a place for all my show wigs, of course. On the other side, I've got my room for my show clothes and I have my kitchen. It's a home, I don't like moving, I never stay in a hotel. So I guess that's why she stayed put in her Brentwood, Tennessee home for so long now. After looking at what 
we know about Dolly's current and main estate, as well as the two homes she used to live at, what did you think? Are they what you expected? Be sure to tell me down in the comments. I'd also love to get to know more of you guys, so please like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I post every Sunday and reply to all my comments over there. We'll link you my latest fit. Here I'm gonna look up most. She looks like she's gotten just a little bit of butt enhancements. Gotta have a sip of iced coffee. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!